Today we will be building a Twitter What Should I Wear button where when you push a button it calls out to the Twitter API and it tells you what you should wear that day. Let's get started. Okay, so what you will need for making the circuit be one male jumper wire, uh, an LED, another male to male jumper wire, push button tactile switch, pretty cheap, get them online, a pack of 100, two more short male to male jumper wires, and then one 10k ohm resistor. So the basics of the circuitry would be having a button run from uh, 5 volts with a 10k pull up or pull down resistor on the ground and then you will want the button to connect between the uh, 5 volt and ground lines so basically it will bridge over the IC uh, valley per se and then what we'll do is we'll connect the output which will go from right here and that will go into a pin that you can later specify right now I want to have it on D5 so you'll want it to be right in there so now what you'll want to do is have the LED going from ground so make sure you have it on the anode part or cathode part you want it from ground and just put it anywhere where you have room so you know, I'll put it right here but for this we'll also want to have a resistor with it so that way we don't burn out the LED so right now I have a hundred ohm resistor which you can use up to I think about 400 ohms and you'll just want to put that in between the LED and ground so just like that then we'll want to attach pin 13 to our LED on the positive and there we go we have a good testable circuit right now for our what should I wear today button so when this button is pushed we should be able to light up the blue LED let's try that now I'm going to plug in I already have the blank button sketch loaded up to it so here it is just initializing and now we'll go and load the Arduino sketch into it. So let's go ahead and do this to pin 5, upload it. So we'll wait for it to compile. There we go. Uploading and done. So now let's test it out to make sure it works. When I push the button, LED lights up blue, which means we have a success. So this is now the basic button circuitry that we need. Let's transfer this onto a breadboard and get an enclosure going, which I will then 3D print. So let's do that. <laughs>
Okay, and we are back. I just 3D printed the button, cleaned it up a tiny bit, and now we are here to test it out to make sure the little enclosure works. So here's what it looks like, all connected. You can see that the push button switch is in there. And I basically put hot glue around the edge of the top that you push on. So that way you can spring back and won't fall off. And then I put a little hole in the bottom of the box part. And I was able to put wire through it. I don't have hookup wire currently, so I had to make do and use jumper leads. But they worked just fine. So now let's go and hook up our project one more time to make sure that our button circuitry all works. And if it does, we should be able to put this into a nice little enclosure and then test it on Twitter. So let's go ahead and plug this in. So go and let the LED initialize. So once it stops blinking, there we go. So now it's all ready. Let's go ahead and push the button. There we go. We see that the LED lit up and it sent out a message via serial. So I think that is it. Now we'll go ahead and make an enclosure for it and make it look all nice and pretty. 